started in the kitchen. A Lafayette judge is facing criticism after she ordered a bailiff to tape a defendant's mouth shut in her courtroom. The ACLU called the incident shocking, dehumanizing and brutal. But as Chris Welty reports, some in the legal community are defending Judge Marilyn Castle. According to court records, during a sentencing hearing, defendant Michael Duyon had his mouth taped shut by a bailiff after repeated interruptions in Judge Marilyn Castle's courtroom. Based on that, Attorney Tommy cool. Gilbo has practiced law for 50 years. He says he's only seen this happen twice before. It's a last resort for a judge. They've tried everything they can, and uh, in some phases of the trial, the defendant has a constitutional right to be present. Gilbo says the Louisiana Supreme Court Code of Judicial Conduct calls for judges to maintain order. She tried to get this guy to stop uh, interrupting her several times, and, and, you know, it didn't work. So, uh, yes, you have a right to do it. It was the proper thing to do. A public defender who was not representing Duyon recorded the bailiff taping his mouth. Gilbo says while lawyers are privileged to bring phones in the courtroom, the judge could see this as abusing that perk. A judge shall prohibit broadcasting, televising, recording, or taking photographs in the courtroom. So they're mandated by the Supreme Court uh, canons and the local rules of the 15 judicial districts. That lawyer was forced to delete all copies of the video. Now he's facing potential contempt of court charges. In my career, I've seen people, lawyers sent to jail, usually for an hour or two and let out. But um, I'm not prejudging this at all. I think, you know, an apology is, should be offered to the court and, uh, and a learning experience for all of us. Judge Marilyn Castle is not commenting, her secretary citing the Code of Judicial Conduct. In Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. And the defendant was in court after being found guilty of theft over $25,000 and money laundering. He was sentenced to 11 years in prison with credit for time served. The judge also recommended that the defendant get mental health treatment. In Jeff Davis